Good morning. So last night we finished off with the fairy pools. Well, yesterday afternoon we finished off with the fairy pools and we found ourselves a pub car park to stay in. We all know them as pub stops in the UK. Um, and it was quite a nice change actually not to be on a campsite because with the pub stop, you know, you can go in, you can have a drink, you can have some food, you give them some money back to the local community and we're getting to park for free effectively. So yeah, it's, it's really good. We've had a lovely view, a lovely evening. It was really, really quiet, but we've woken up next to some like really cool monument and bridge. It's really pretty in the area. So I thought, get up early and go and have a quick look at it. There seems to be quite a lot of tour buses coming in and out, so it's obviously a popular spot. It's on the main road that you would take now to head straight out to Sky Bridge. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to head out of Sky into the Scottish uh, mainland. We want to see the Harry Potter Bridge, and I think we're going to head down towards the lakes because we've still got some work to do on the other van. We want to get that finished now so that it's ready for the winner. So if you have entered the raffle, thank you very much. Thank you for, you know, helping us and supporting us. We really appreciate it. We are about a quarter of the way there now, which I think is fantastic because we've only been doing it for two weeks. It's running to the end of May. If you're yet to get a ticket, please head over to raffle.com or click the links in our description. Have a little look. It tells you everything about the van and how to enter. So that's the pub that we stayed in last night. They do have a menu on, but the only thing is their chefs have a break between three and 5 p.m. So either eat before or eat after. And then just across the way then we've got these lush bridges, gorgeous snow-capped mountains in the background and some sort of statue monument over there. So I want to go check that out. Okay, so this sculpture is Figures in the Landscape. So this is Heroes and Legends have brought back Glenn Sligan's Appeal of Life Throughout the Ages. So the sculpture ahead, created by the artist Stephen Tinney, depicts two such figures. A skyborne crofter, John Mackenzie from Sconser, a seated figure. He was the first British professional mountain guide who was experienced to alpine standards. And the standard figure is Professor Norman Colley, who went on to become a regular climbing client and a lifelong friend of Mackenzie. And they basically had a climbing partnership which lasted for 50 years. And this is them, looking out there over to the mountains. You get up close to those statues, mind, they're actually really big. Don't look, they don't look like it from the road, but um, when you get up quite close to them, they are pretty impressive. Okay, so the view that we can see is Glen Sligachan. I'm not sure if I said that right, but it's in the John Muir Trust. Um, and these peatlands are some of the least degraded in Scotland. So they do recommend you stick to the path to prevent eroding the fragile soil. Peatlands only cover 3% of the Earth's surface and they account for 30% of the world's carbon storage. So yes, we've got to look after that, haven't we, our environment. And um, they're just there. Stu should have finished now getting the van ready for us to leave. As I say, we're heading south, out of Sky today. So yeah, basically heading for Sky Bridge. That's about 30 miles from here. It's one road that just takes us straight out of Sky. We're gonna head for that. We've then got to go to the shops because we're desperate for food and water, basics, all that kind of stuff. We're gonna do that. And then we're hoping to hit the Harry Potter Bridge today. So we'll update you in a sec. We're waiting for you, babes. Sorry, I was showing off the local uh, beauty spots. Ah, oh, yeah, it's pretty around here, isn't it? So we didn't do Dunegan Castle. Uh, we were planning to do it yesterday, but it just turns out that it's completely the other end of Sky. So for us to do it would mean that we'd need another day on Sky, wouldn't it? Yeah. Which would be okay, but we've got some work to do on Van Gelly. That's right, so we got to get back. Only needs a couple of days. We're just doing a couple of upgrades, a couple yeah. of tweaks. Just want to make sure the van is in its best shape for obviously when it goes. So, right, on that note, we're going to go and hit the road. We don't want to yeah. go on about that. We got a big drive ahead. <laughs> Have you yeah. told them where we're going? Yeah, Harry Potter Bridge. The Glen Finnan Viaduct, I think it's called. Yeah, I'm really excited about this one because twice we've been to Scotland and I've not been able to see it. No. Just because we've missed it for whatever reason. So, yeah, we're making a point this time of going down there. And you never know, we may see the train. This was top of your list, wasn't it? Yeah. It was the Glenfin and Fire Duck. Mine was the Fairy Pools, which we did yesterday. Yeah. And yours was this Fire Duck. So, oh. yeah, let's go. We'll hit the road. As I say, it's about 30 miles down here now to Sky Bridge. We do need to stop and get some food as well. <coughs> um, but and yeah. Just paid a subscription for that sat nav as well. Oh, yeah. Stu's got basically, this van hasn't got a sat nav. So we've been using the iPad on the iPad holder 
and he's basically got downloaded an app. Um, it does need a subscription. Yeah, it's called it? Sygic. Yeah. S Y G I C, but it allows you to put the vehicle's dimensions into it, which I like, so it won't put you down roads that aren't suitable. Mm. Um, you get seven days free, which is what we've been using, but it's run out, and it was £45 for a lifetime subscription with three years maps updates for Europe. That's not too bad, is it? 45 quid yeah, for a sat now. Quite reasonable, it's, it's doing all right. But a lot of people have asked what it was, and a lot of people have been asking as well what holder it's on, but it's actually, if you show them, it's actually on the holder that's built into Takatos. Oh yeah, we just push it up and down. Yeah. And back, yeah. You just don't see it, many people use it, but until we upgrade the radio, that'll do just fine. Yesterday, there was sun and there was rain. Beauty in the Monday. And as the light startled our eyes, we let go of disguise. So we've just pretty much got back to the Scottish Highlands now after leaving Isle of Skye, and Stu was kindly pulled over to a castle yeah we were about to drive past it but it's on a point of a lovely looking lock so we're here to explore let's go explore it's really pretty yeah it's cool you might even pay for entry you never know <laughs> it looks something like off a postcard it's absolutely beautiful so they've got a food hall here and a gift shop and it's 32 pounds for us to get in so i'm interested to see what it would look like from actually inside. I think it would look really cool. This lot have already spied ice cream, so <laughs> I bet you they come out with one. And they're all hungry. Ramen raisin, mini egg, I want ramen raisin. Ramen raisin, coconut, strawberry, vanilla, chocolate, or mini egg. I want ramen raisin. Lovely. Mini eggs, Mini eggs? Yeah. 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 Can we get a flake? You're having one. Yeah. Dad, can we get a flake? Go on. Hiya. Cheek. Yes, please. Yes. Please, could I have one rum and raisin in the small waffle cone? Yeah, no, please. You having one left? No, thanks. Mm. I'm having one. That's right. Enjoy it. So, I mean, I can have two, because I can have yours. If you want. To be fair, I've just had a Costa, so it works out the same then, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm not a big fan of ice cream, love. I can only have it on really super hot, nice days. What flavour did you go for? Rum and raisin. Rum and raisin. raisin. What did you get? She wants strawberry. Oh, Oliver, what are you having? Chocolate. Is vanilla or chocolate? He's going chocolate. Who are we kidding? Oh, it's Oliver. Yeah, vanilla. Mini egg has chocolate and vanilla. <laughs> you good, buddy? There we go. I'm going to take it from that side. Wow. Back. That looks cool. The same in strawberry, please. Strawberry, no worries. Yummy. Yeah, I think. I just tried his rum and raisin one and it does taste like rum. I went, oh, that tastes like rum. Dexter went, yeah, and I know. <laughs> Like he knows. <laughs> I do. And yeah. to think, Amelia, you didn't want to get out of the van just now to come exploring, yeah? And you've just earned yourself an ice cream. That's not wow. bad, is it? <laughs> you smile as now. Call. So now they're all mentioning their ice creams, there's, um, the gift shop in there was actually quite nice and they've got a cafe there. Now the castle has been quite clever, so you can't just go and take a picture of it, basically you have to go in. They've got uh, a bit of security going on on the gate there, love. Yeah. So if you want to see it, we've got to pay. Here's the admissions. This is quite cool actually. They've got the self-payments where you can use your credit card or debit card to pay and then you get a ticket issued and they take that across with you then. I'm going to go across the bridge and get a closer look at the castle. <laughs> three quid I don't mind doing that there's your ice cream thanks there's my ice cream he said <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it I don't mind I want to see the castle so it's fine Hi. thank you very much thank you, thank you. so I've got my tickets there. I'm going across got these really cute spots you can stand like in the corners obviously I don't think that's what it was invented for but a lot of people are stopping in these and having photos of the castle behind them and uh, yeah I'm quite chuffed that I've made it across the bridge
of these views. Absolutely stunning. The water today as well is literally so still. You've got all the reflections of the mountains and the clouds in them. Beautiful. And then the castle is right on the edge there. So after a few pictures, I think I better go join the fam. I think I've ended up coming the wrong way though. I've got to go up some steps. Oh, this is for Stu. I've touched the wall. <laughs> I know, I need to grow up. But I do get to walk across that cool bridge again too. And I mean, look at the castle. It's stunning. So we've just made it to Glenfinnan, uh, where the aqueduct, where the, is it an aqueduct? No, it's a viaduct, where the viaduct is that was um, used for filming Harry Potter's second and third films. Really excited to see it. It's a bit bizarre because to see it from where I'm stood right now, it looks quite small um, and on the websites, it makes it look massive. So yeah, Stu's just bought a ticket for parking, six pound. So we're gonna go and do this and then we're gonna go and do some, get a park up basically and get some lunch. Yeah. You're right. Let's go see this fire duck. Yeah, it was uh, Harry Potter, Chamber of Secrets and the Azkaban one. Yeah. Yeah. The Hogwarts Express went across the top of it. So yeah, this should be good. Right, so we've got quite a bit of a trail. We start here at the car park, we're going to cross the river and then we can go up to a viewing point for the viaduct and you can keep walking along it and go to the Glenvinnan Station Museum. I don't think we'll go that far because it's picking to rain. Yeah, we're here <laughs> for the viaduct. So this says the Jacob Bite steam train timetable can be found here. The times the Jacob Bite passes over the Glenvinnan viaduct uh, quarter to 11 in the morning and quarter past three in the afternoon so, and it's quarter to three so you flukily made it in time for the train yeah half hour and that train's coming over <laughs> get in <laughs> <laughs> that was lucky yeah happy we, with that. we just noticed we sat here and we could see either side of the bridge i up a lot of people are sitting there and i was like oh, i wonder if a train is due <laughs> half hour <laughs> let's go Built by Robert McAlpine and Sons, designed by Simpson and Wilson, this 21 arch railway viaduct is 380 metres long and 30 metres high. It's made from mass concrete and part of the West Highland Railway line linking Maleg, Fort William and Oban to Glasgow. The viaduct spans the river from Finnan, from the hills, I can't say that, healthy hill, <laughs> hill of cleft and hill of the outlook as well as the exceptional engineering endeavour Glenfinnan Viaduct has impressive film and television credits including Ring of Brightwater, Charlotte Grey, Monarch of the Glen, Stone of Destiny and of course the magical Harry Potter films. So I've just left Stu on one side of the viaduct he's going to try and get a shot of the train one side and I'm going to venture up the other side and see what I can do because I wasn't satisfied with that viewpoint. I really want to see it like curving around like in a sea rather than the other way if that makes sense it's literally about to chuck it down as well i'm gonna get absolutely drenched can just tell the weather oh there it is so when you next see me i might be looking like a drowned rat <laughs> oh the big fat drops of rain as well <laughs> Made it to the top to the viewpoint. Absolutely soaking. But look at this view.
good. I still hear it. <laughs> There's not many things I'd get absolutely soaking wet for, but that was definitely worth it. Now to go and find the man button crew. Here they come, soaking wet. <laughs> Typical, isn't it? Just before it comes, it opens up. That was cool though, right? Yeah. Come on. It was well worth it. It has come been on. drenched. Yeah, mummy's the same. Just look at it. <laughs> look at your hair. <laughs> be like, oh, I've just done my hair. I know, but some things are worth waiting for. It started raining as I was walking up the hill. I was getting some strange looks, mind. Everyone's there in their rain max and thick coats, and I'm there in shorts and t-shirt and some Crocs. And um, yeah, I was quite confident it was going to pass, but uh, clearly not. <laughs> it raining three times. How sad. Back to the van. Let's go. So we've just pulled on to Ben Nevis Holiday Park and we're hoping they're going to have a pitch for us. We're all uh, a bit freezing. We're desperate for a shower now just to warm up more than anything. Fingers crossed they've got something. I did say to Stu, mind go mad. If, you, if there's a lodge or a pod or something available, then, uh, you know, maybe nab that. <laughs> I really want to cook us a dinner. I've got a beef. Yeah, I've got a beef dinner to do. And uh, yeah, I feel like we just need to put pyjamas on, have a warm fire. We're freezing. <laughs> I mean, obviously that's not going to happen. But um, yeah, it's been a long time since we stood in the rain like that and got absolutely soaked through. So yeah, it's surprising how uh, you can feel it on your bones. Hopefully he'll come back with some good news. <laughs> Did I make you jump, love? Yeah, oh. I was thinking, oh, you've been a while. At least pray it's good news. Yes, we're booked in. So what we doing is it just a pitch or is it a lodge is it it's, oh sorry it's a pitch it's a pitch it's a pitch all right happy days and how much was that 29 pounds for the night at ben nevis nice nice little view say it's four o'clock now so time's getting on so it's pretty good we got the gray water dump right here Revolu revolution laundry are right over there which we love revolution so I'm happy with that. Happy with that. So, yeah, not that we've got any, well, we haven't really got any washing, have we? Unless you just want to dry off those few things that we've just got soaked. Oh, it's telling me off, because this is one thing I don't like about the Swift, is you can only activate the Swift command when the engine's turned off. So like, now I've driven on to drop my waste off at the wastewater point, and I can't drop it off because the engine's running. So I've got to turn the engine off to be able to act, open up my wastewater pipe. Well, that's all right, because the toilet point's just there as well, so you may as well do that at yeah, the same time. Well. Huh. <laughs> Thanks, babes. You're welcome, babes. What? All right, that's them sorted. Toilet empty. Do I want to fill up the water? No. We're at 50%. Or should we fill up when we leave? How long are we here for? I booked for one night for now. I'll fill up when we leave. Yeah. We're all right. Do you have a look at the showers when you were here? Yeah, very modern, look very nice. That's good then. Definitely gonna need to have a shower. Look at the hair. <laughs> Why are you laughing, love? Oh, nothing. I just made up a joke. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> I'm the joke. So I was just cleaning up the boys' beds, the drop down one, which is this one here. It was lowered. I had the ladder on it. I had to go up there because they had a lot of blankets and that up there. And as I came down, I put one foot on the ladder thinking my next foot would get to the ground, missed, fell, and landed my ass cheek on there ow that hurt right can we just be can we just be honest here right i haven't actually laughed until that moment because <laughs> i ran straight over with some cold kitchen roll and put it on the area that he was most sensitive my, so my i dog. did look after you didn't i yeah but then he's just started singing abba voulez vous and there's a part of that where they go <sighs> so i just found it really funny that you know Stu was rubbing his ass oh, it's you it is know, and singing <sighs> So let's just put that into perspective. So just saying, so people don't think that I'm being all. Should we show the damage? Are you really getting your ass out? <laughs> I'm gonna get part of my ass out. <laughs> that is, that was it's worthy of. Right, is that enough to show it? Uh, definitely. <laughs> you silly idiot. <laughs> yeah, that it. <sighs> <sighs> Sitting down is gonna be a little bit painful for me today. Be a pain in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing new there then, is it? Oh, yeah, and happy anniversary, babe. Oh, yeah, happy anniversary. <laughs> 12 <laughs> years of craziness, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> Best part is we both completely forgot. Um, thank you. I made you a cup of coffee and said happy anniversary. Yeah, you remembered this morning, but we <laughs> had forgot. Let's, let's, let's 
not be around the bus yet. We both forgot. We've got to go make it up to I each think, other today now. We've been so busy. We had Spain. We come back. We got the new motor home. We went up to Scotland. We mm. haven't stopped, which is pretty normal for us anyway. Yeah, we've completely been... Completely forgot. Yeah. So we're going to go make it up to each other. We're going to go and have a nice breakfast. There's a cafe on site. Yeah, I'm going to go try and sit down. <coughs> <laughs> so aside from Stu's bad butt situation... <laughs> We've pulled into a really lovely campsite. So we stayed at Ben Nevis Holiday Park. Um, we found it literally after we had just seen the Harry Potter steam train going over Glen Finnan. That was awesome. That was absolutely incredible. And they've got laundry on site here, Revolution, but they've got two Revolutions. So we've just chucked a load of washing on now because everything got soaking wet yesterday. But this morning has got to be the best morning we've had in Scotland so far. The, the skies are blue. There's not one cloud. Nope, not a single cloud in sight. Look at it. And then you've got, in the background over there, the tallest mountain in Britain. Ben Nevis. Yeah. So, I was finding out about Ben Nevis, actually, this morning when I was sitting in bed. And apparently, it's an old volcano that erupted and then kind of caved in on itself. So I get the drone up then? I, I would think that it would be a good thing to show off, yeah. Cue drone footage. <laughs> So back at the van now, all the washing's put away. We've decided to stay on this site for another night because we've liked it so much and they've just allocated us a service pitch at no extra cost, so. And then I've asked Stu to see if he can try out our awning for the first time and he looks a little bit baffled. What's up, love? <laughs> I got it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've been stood here for five minutes trying to figure out how to get the legs down. <laughs> it's a different brand. This is a Thule or a Thuel. Isn't that the same thing? No, our last one was a Fiamma F45S. This is a Fuel Omnistore. Oh, well, it looks nice. Doesn't look like it's been used. The handle thing was still in a wrapper, wasn't it? Yeah. So I thought, well, why not get it out? But then how the do I... The awning, that is. That's quite a nice size, actually. The other one I found was just a little bit too big. Oh, there you go. I felt like I was going to snap it. And then these ones apparently have... I don't know if I get that out of there now. Do you have a bit down the middle then to kind of hold it up like our last no, one? No, on this one you have these corner struts, which is here. But I don't know how to get it out. It's there, look. Yeah. That Slide needs... It. I don't know. I don't know, let me try this one. I found the hey. golf ball! Oh, oh nice. Very good. Oh, just pull it forward. Alright, and then it just... Wait, how... When did we get this? It's part of the van, Dexter. We Wait. just haven't used it yet. So I've said to Dad Ooh, to get it out so we can have some outside time. Yay! But they don't clip onto anything, so... Let's, let's put it out a bit more. Oh, that's completely come down now. I went up too far. Right, there. Now where does that go? How does that clip into there? Is it like a compression? I don't know. Do you put it on there and then do you Should wind it back in a little bit? <laughs> Should we get the manual? <laughs> Stu don't do manuals. <laughs> I'm wondering if I do that and then try and bring it in. There you go. Did that tighten it? That did it. You've got to tighten it in a little bit on itself. There we are then. Yay! Ta -da! <laughs> That's how you do the fuley. Well, we'll soon know, won't we, if it, it blows off. Oh, no, how do I get that out? My water's full. I can hear it <laughs> peeing. I'm going to try any different things at once. You know? I know. He's got the water on. Mucking about, getting excited because he was on a service pitch. That's you why you moved us, wasn't just it? Just told him in there 
Those rubber things, you've got to be for something. But now, that's stuck in. How on earth did you get that out there without turning it? Do I have to push it in and twist it? Oh, right there. Yes. So you push, push it, it in, in harder and then it comes yeah, loose. Yeah, twist it. And that's on like an extendable. Right. There we are. Brilliant. Okay. See, you kn I knew you had to get it out just to give it a test. Just when you were, no, just when you knew what I was doing. So it didn't look like an absolute knob when I rock up somewhere. Not a knob, a noob. That's another way to put it. Pebbles is out. He went on an exploring mission last night. So he's, um, I'm surprised he's not absolutely shattered. He likes all the trees. Hey, Pebs. Good boy. <laughs> right, while he's editing, I'm just going to clean up the last little bits of the van. I'm going to get a chair out and enjoy the sun, I reckon. Mm -hmm. 